Hi everyone, I hope you have a wonderful day. Today I'm working with a piece of some Pele and I got this at Kaim Lumber a couple weekends ago and I want to make a, a small plate. My husband gave me the idea of doing some texturing and some uh, lines and burn some lines into it and stuff so I um, went ahead and kind of changed the burn line things and he has been saving this ebony um, dust for me when he does his knife handles and he uses ebony he saves all that for me and brass dust well he kind of mixed he had a little bit of brass dust so he mixed it together in this so that's what I'm using in the lines of this um, this little plate I hope you guys enjoyed this video I was having an issue with the, the push cuts in this. This piece of wood was so dry it kept splintering and chipping out. But when I was doing the pull cuts, it it left a really nice finish. So I found this guy that kind of explains the difference between um, a push cut and a pull cut. He breaks this down into um, two categories. He's got your push cut and your pull cut, and then he's got your scrape and your shear scrape. So you might want to go check him out. His name is Lyle Jamison. I will link his um, YouTube channel in the description below.
I'm just penciling in some lines just as a reference point so I know where to do my texturing. I was having an issue with the screw coming out of this when I was using it. After some messing around, I finally got it to stay in. I started sanding at 120 and I went through all the grits clear up to 320. When I was sanding I noticed that I had some tool marks and I, I would have been sanding forever so I decided to go back over the plate with my chisel just to clean those up and I'll start sanding again from 120 and go through all the grits to 320. I didn't really like the rim too much so I decided to go back over and clean it up because it had some splintering from turning. I ended up reversing the lathe and that seemed to work better by reversing it and using the tool on the opposite side. I received a letter in the mail from Blue Light Turners with four stickers and a medallion. I will reverse the camera here in a little bit to show you his stickers and medallion. I want to let you guys know that if you go to the description below, you can find all my other sticker swappers in there. Please go check them out, watch their videos, like them, subscribe, show them that you care. That would be wonderful. I will reverse the camera here in a minute and show you his stickers and medallion. I also want to say thank you guys so much for being part of my YouTube channel and family. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. All right, I'll reverse the camera. All right, Blue Light Turner, thank you so much for your stickers and your medallion. I will put these on my sticker board and I will return a sticker to you as soon as I get my new stickers in the mail. As well as everyone else that sent me stickers, I will be sending you a new sticker as well. So here I'm just applying some black uh, Starbonsier glue. I did try to use the heavy thin uh, CA glue, but it started bleeding through the grains of the wood, and that's even after I put 
some sanding sealer on it. It still wanted to bleed through. So I went back to the black CA glue before I started putting the ebony dust and brass dust in. I'm using Mahogany Pro Dye. I'm not exactly sure why my camera decided to do this. It focused on the, the dye, but it did not focus on the project. So sorry about that, guys. For my finish today, I'm using Axe Sanding Paste and Polishing Paste. I have a new coupon code and thank you so much Axe for giving me this coupon code to be able to pass on to my subscribers. I greatly appreciate that. So guys, if you are interested in the Axe products, click on that description below, find the Axe link, and whenever you go to check out the big kit, don't forget to enter that coupon code TANYA15. all right guys we made it to the end i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me that thumbs up and if you're new to my channel you made it this far please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you never miss out pics are at the end guys let me know in the comments what you think until next week goodbye